All right, folks, in this video, I'm just going to be covering four uh, methods for cleaning the print bed. There are a lot of other methods, but I'm just going to be covering four um, that I use in my favorite. So number one, of course, is um, dry scraping, just using a metal paint scraper to dry scrape off as much of the filament residue as possible, which this um, is not the best method. It um, can damage your bed, like you can see right there. I was removing a print with it roughly and I tore off a piece of the um, actual bed. Now another option is using 99% isopropyl alcohol. You just spread this around, let it soak in for just a few seconds and then just start scraping away. This is an okay method. You will see a little bit more com comes up besides just um, doing the dry scraping. But this isn't my preferred method. But this is, when I first started 3D printing, is a method I did use um, until doing some research. So the next method is goo off. This is actually my favorite method and you will see why. This is um, pro strength goo off. So don't confuse it with goo gone, it is a goo off. It's used for removing paint and all of the type of residues. But it, it works fairly well and you're gonna see it right now. How just a few seconds of a sit and how much comes off. Now this is something I tried myself. I've never, I've never seen in like a, on any type of 3D print forums or anything. I just happen to have some from other projects I've did, and I gave it a shot, and I, I really liked it over anything else. Now the other thing is acetone. I didn't have any um, pure acetone on hand, but this is actually made with the strongest acetone with ABS mix um, melted into it. I use this to help my ABS print stick to the bed better, but it's also it's a lot of acetone in it, so I, I used to use it for actually scraping up um, leftover filament residue as well. If I had pure acetone, I would show you guys that, but it's very similar to, you get the same results. It's very similar to what I'm doing right here with how much comes off of it, depending on how long you soak it. So those were all with the bed being cold. Now I'm going to go ahead and preheat heat the bed, and I'm going to show you how um, well each thing works with a warm bed. I'm just turning the nozzle down because I do not want the nozzle because it's right above my GoPro to damage my GoPro screen. Now that the bed is warm, we're gonna give the isopropyl the first shot. You actually see when the bed is warm, it actually starts to evaporate a little fast if you take a look at it. As you can see, it's coming up a little better than just dry scraping, but still not the results still aren't amazing. Now we're gonna go ahead and go with the Pro Strain Goo Off so you can see the difference. With the bed being warm, much more comes off. See how easy that flaked right off after only sitting there for a few seconds? That's why Goo Off is one of my favorites. It's actually my top favorite is my favorite in general i should say now we're going to go ahead and use the acetone again abs mix you can see it actually start bubbling because the bed is warm you're going to see a little bit more come off this time as well using that so all in all with all the different um solutions to use it works better when the heated bed is warm even with just dry scraping. So let's just go ahead and finish this off with the goo off because it is the obvious winner. It does the best job 
So I want to go in and clean this completely off. See how clean that came? All right, now I'm just gonna go in and lift the bed off, show you that you can actually move the bed off the printer itself. I'm gonna remove the entire build plate. Now where I damaged it at, I'm just gonna go in and remove this all together. I still have it on, um, I still have it warm on 60 degrees, so this can remove easily. So when you're removing this, it's best to have it warm, or it's gonna be like hell getting it off. But it comes off fairly easily since the bed is warm. Now I'm just gonna make sure the surface is 100% clean using 99% isopropyl alcohol. And I'm gonna show you guys different methods are using, of using painter's tape on the bed. Now most people say they prefer blue painter's tape or just normal painter's tape. Honestly, I haven't seen a difference out of any of the colors, so. It hasn't impacted my results. So this is a way to do like a nice clean form fitting. Um, Here's a print result. I did a quick print cancel so you can see how easy it pulls off with the painter's tape. This is a really small print. So you snagged there for a second, but for the most part it came off fairly easily. And it also peels off the painter's tape fairly easily as well. So now I actually wanna show you guys how to make a circle one. It doesn't, so it's not the exact shape of the build plate itself, but just a, a nice clean circle, like the one we removed that came with the printer itself. Just using the painter's tape, using it as a guide, and using a clean surface to lay the tape down on first and just cut around with an X-Acto knife. I already have one on there. Just to show you guys what it looks like, I'm gonna go ahead and remove this. And show you guys my favorite, all time favorite method for putting tape on the bed. right here overlapping it slightly on each edge and just slapping it on there because guess what the results don't change when you print so there's no reason to really be super um neat with it all right folks that is it that is how you clean your bed surface and how you replace your adhesive bed surface as well you can use painter's tape honestly the color doesn't matter it hasn't impacted any of my prints going with green blue or white um you can also use captain tape as well that's going to be a little more expensive but you don't have to always tear it off you can easily remove the print and the captain tape will stay on there easier but that concludes this video and as always folks thanks for watching and have a great day